All right, here we go, 244. Chase is packing flour in half pound bags. Should have stayed in school, huh, Chase? Okay, he has eight bound pounds of flour. How many bags can he pack? So we got eight pounds of flour that's getting divided up into half a pound bags. Okay, so we got to do eight divided by, that's our number model right there. The answer, I've got to do a two down here, making this a 16. Those go bye-bye, 16 divided by 16 bags. Chase, you can get 16 bags, yo. 16 times a half equals eight, because half of 16. That's fine. You've been bad today. All right, number two. Regina has a quarter of a watermelon. Hmm, wonder what she did with the other parts of it. But if she and two friends share it equally, ah, the fourth is getting divided up this time, what portion will each person get? So we've got a fourth of a watermelon, and we're dividing it by three people because it's she and two friends. Don't think that Regina is like St. Francis is going to give you the watermelon off her back. No, she's getting her slice. So it's one-fourth divided by three. We've got to write this guy with a four in the denominator. So boom. So you just made it four times bigger because it was a one secretly hiding down here. So make that times four as well, and you get 12. These go bye-bye. One divided by 12 is one twelfth. So the answer, they're all going to get a twelfth of a watermelon, which is sounds kind of pathetic, really. Particularly if it's like one of those little round ones, not the big honkers. A twelfth is still a pretty decent size. Check it. A twelfth times three. One twelfth times, this was three. Let's see what that equals. Bing! That equals three twelfths, which equals one fourth. Whee! Look at that. Happiness, happiness. All right, let's do number three. Four students are running a relay race that is a half a mile long. Each student runs the same distance. How far does each student run? Okay. So, some of you are going to want to do this, right? Four divided by half, right? Hmm. Really? You're dividing up the four kids? Like, that's kind of gross. Like, what do you mean? Like, samurai sword action? No. Keep those thoughts to yourself. This is math class. There's no place for blood. All right, it's the half a mile that is getting divided up. The half mile is getting divided up by four people. No blood. A lot of panting. Actually, not even that much panting. I mean, come on. You'll see, it's not very long. All right, we gotta have a two on the bottom. I put a two there, which you gotta make this an eight. It becomes two times bigger. These go bye-bye. One divided by eight. One eighth. That's the answer. So everybody's going to run an eighth of a mile. You know, don't hurt yourself. All right. Check it. You do one eighth times, this was four. So one eighth times four and see if you get a half. You do. All right. Next up, we got a cook. A cook baked five large pizzas. Five. It takes a special oven. You can't do that at home, kids. Five, or at least not at once. All right, five large pizzas. If he cuts each piece into eighths, so we're starting with the five. That's what's getting divided up, so it goes first. It's getting divided up into eighths. How many pieces is our cook going to have? All right, we need eight on the bottom. That's going to make this a 40. That's a pretty big number. Mm -hmm. Okay, eight divided by eight is one, goes away. 40 divided by one is 1 40th, right? Wrong. 40 divided by 1 is 40. That is your answer. All right. You can do the check on your own. I'm not doing that for you. I'm not doing all the work here. For problems 5 and 6, write a number story. Okay, so you got whatever it is, you got 3 divided by a fourth. This is the stuff that's getting divided up. So you have to have three things. I have three blah. I'm dividing them up into one-fourth each. I don't know. I have three gerbils. And I'm chopping them up each into... No, no, let's not do that. Your parents are going to hear that and they think, wait, that's gross. Did he do that on purpose? Did he record himself? No, we're not doing that. No. Let's say I've got three... 
blow pops. This would take, this would be hard. I've got three blow pops and I'm gonna divide them up into piles that are one fourth of a blow pop big. How many piles do I have or something like that? Okay, you do three divided by fourth. You gotta make a four down here, which makes this 12. Those go bye-bye, 12 divided by one. You would have 12 little piles of blow pops, but the little crumbs would kind of get everywhere and it would make a mess. Like, don't do that. Don't divide blow pops. You either get the blow pop or don't, okay? And then your guys' case is gonna be don't. I'm gonna have them myself. By the way, I got blow pops left. I was in the class, I took them all. All right, and here we go. A third divided by four. So in this case, let's stick with our blow pops. This case, it's the third. Somebody's got walking around with a third of a blow pop. It's like somebody has sucked off all the good stuff. And there's just that sort of gnarly little lump of gum. That's like a third of the whole thing. That's all that's left, even though the gum is good. I'm going to be wrong. So we got to do this way. We got to have a three over here this time, which makes that a 12. These guys go bye bye. One divided by 12 everybody would get. So this is a third of a blow pop divided by four different people. Everybody's going to get one twelfth of the blow pop. All right, there you go. That's page 244. Lovely. All right, see you in a bit.